afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. Uh, some new things on the table. One's going to be quite not so new, and it actually has been in here before, but it has a new brother. So we're going to talk about both of them while we have the opportunity. Now, in December 2020, Altadas announced the release of the Monte Cristo 1935, celebrating the 85th anniversary of the Monte Cristo brand. And that guy, we've got sitting right here. This one has been here before, but since its release, I said it first shipped December of 2020. Uh, so most stores didn't see it until we got into 2021. Uh, but we have carried it. Since its release, it has been pretty high demand. So it does fall into back order a lot. So it's not necessarily something that has stayed on the shelves, uh, but we get it when we can. Now, with that 1935, another thing that helped push that along was... And, and this past December, the December of 21, it ended up number two on Cigar Aficionado's Top 25 for the year. The size specifically that got the number two rating is the number two, the Torpedo version, which we have right here, even now sporting this neat secondary band showing its 95 rating and its number two Cigar of the Year placement. So we have the Toro and we have the number two of the 1935. Again, been out a little over a year, year and a half at this point, but happy to see it back on the shelves. And the reason we're talking about it today is because its new little brother has just arrived. Uh, before we tell you about that, though, I do want to give you at least a little bit of background on this one. Uh, don't want to forget that uh, this is actually made uh, by A.J. Fernandez in his San Lotano factory. And San Lotano is actually pretty well known for producing a lot of Eric Espinosa stuff which if you were paying close attention to this video, you might see some teases for Leo video coming up here in the next couple of weeks in reference to that. If you miss it, stay tuned. You'll see it here before too long. But again, that's the 1935 Anniversary Edition Monte Cristo. The new one is the 1935 Anniversary Diamante. Diamante meaning diamond. Uh, we do know a little bit more about this in the original blend. I couldn't find a good breakdown on what this is constructed out of, but we know for sure on the new Diamante, we have a hybrid wrapper that's grown in the Jalapa Valley in Nicaragua. Uh, our binder is an Ometepe grown Criollo, and the filler tobacco is all from Esteli. Now, usually with uh, all that Esteli filler tobacco, you should expect some aggressiveness, certainly if it's being made by AJ. But by comparison, the new guy is a little easier going than its big brother. Uh, so if you have tried this and maybe this was a little full-bodied, may sound kind of strange to say about a Monte Cristo cigar, but the times they have changed, uh, yeah, this one is a little easier going, I find, than the new 1935. Uh, but it is based on this blend. It is a little easier going. And again, was a collaboration between H.A. Fernandez and Rafael Nadal, uh, the tobacco guru for Altadas. Uh, now, the new one has, I think, a total of six sizes. I don't know if they've all shipped yet, uh, but we do have the Robusto, and I think this is a, is it a Gigante or Grande is what they call that one. So there's a Grande and there is a Robusto, the two new offerings uh, from the Monte Cristo Edition Diamante 1935. So they are both back on the shelves, both ready to go. And uh, it is a whole new world of Monte Cristo. If you still think that Monte Cristo means mild cigar, it's not really the case anymore. And these two are shining examples as to why that's not true. Uh, but very, very good stuff. If you're an AJ fan, I think you're going to love both of them. Uh, so do stop in and check them out while you can. Because uh, if we've had difficulty keeping this one on the shelves, I can expect possibly some similar issues happening with the Diamante as well. It's just going to depend on what their production levels look like. And they haven't disclosed production Production levels. All we've said so far is they are regular production, meaning not limited, but it also doesn't mean you're going to have it on the shelves all the, all the time just due to back order and popularity issues. So once again, Monte Cristo 1935, Monte Cristo 1935 Diamante, both on the shelf here at Beaumont's very own Cigar Club, ready to smoke and ready to go. Now, do not forget, we are but a couple of weeks away now from our big Rocky Patel event. Uh, that's going to be taking place here on Friday, August 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. Yes, we're staying open an hour late for the event. Uh, we'll have our rep uh, 
Jared Oliver from Rocky Patel. Jared's going to be in the house that night. Rayo's Bakery is going to be on hand. One of their baristas will be here making some great coffee creations for you. Uh, it's going to be a great night. So uh, do note, if you have previously marked your calendar for this event and you have it marked for April 11th, that has changed. It is now April 25th. So check your calendars. Make sure you got the date right. 825. Friday evening from 4 to 8 p.m. with Jared Oliver from Rocky Patel in the house. Great deals, great swags. It is something you do not want to miss. So mark your calendar so we can see you there. Uh, that's going to wrap us up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you can stay on top of what is hip and happening here in Southeast Texas. We'll be back with you with something cool and nifty next week, I am sure. So stay tuned. Uh, keep your fingers you know, on the trigger and get ready to go with next week's edition of the Humidor Report should be with you here next Wednesday afternoon. And until that time, I'm Justin. We'll see you at the club.